man, I was not expecting to to get into the feels tonight like I did, but God damn. Oh my God! After hours, listen, listen. I gotta roll up the sleeves. Listen. Y'all know I'm ready. Listen, album March 20th. I am ready. I'm on spring break. Oh, that's gonna be the best spring break ever. We got that and a quiet place part two that day. It's gonna be lit. Now listen, I am so excited right now. I have no idea what, for, what to expect from this single. Uh, last Thursday, we got the album title announcement with that dope ass animated video. The album cover's out, out today with Abel looking all sorts of fucked up. Um, this era visually uh, is very interesting. Uh, it, it's very um, visceral, neon-y in a way, and, you know, bloody also, uh, which is fine with me. Um, but listen, we are here. I have Apple Music. It's supposed to drop at 1 a.m., but it's already on Apple Music. It's like almost midnight my time here on the East Coast, uh, but listen, we are here. Um, I, I don't know what to expect from this song. I really don't. 14 tracks on this album, this is the 13th track. Heartless is the seventh and Blinding Lights is the ninth. I really don't know what to expect because the first one was some, you know, hip hop, trap inspired, Metro Boom and Elangelo type production. Then you, know, you got Blinding Lights, which is like, you know, a throwback to synthwave 80s pop music. This one, I don't know what it is. I don't know who this is produced by. Hopefully it's like Elangelo because you know, Elangelo, I love his soundscapes and the sims he used and stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what this is. Let's just get right on into it. Okay. After Hours. The Weekend. So, it's a title track. Okay. Let's just get into it. Ah. Six minutes. Oh, let's go. Let's see what I like this. Oh. the title track on Thursday. Oh man! Bro. 
Wow. Besides, like, some of the stuff on Kissland, that is, like, that is, like, the closest we've gotten to, like, trilogy. That was great. Like, I gotta listen to this again because I gotta read these lyrics. Okay, so on Genius, there's, like, lyrics up. But, like, the song just came out, so, like, you know, they might not be correct, but whatever. I'm, I'm just going to do it again. Reading uh, the lyrics, so let's just get into this. There's a lot to talk about in this song. It's kind of hard to because, like, there's no official lyrics yet. So, like, there's some... I'm not going to lie. My only issue with the song, just from listening to it two times, is sometimes I just don't understand what the hell he's singing. Like, he, like, mumbles it um, sometimes a bit too much. Okay, so if any of these lyrics are wrong, I'm sorry. These are the only lyrics that are real, but right now, to my knowledge, um, and they're still transcribing them on uh, Genius. But I almost died in my dream again. Fought it for my life, I couldn't breathe again. I'm falling into new when I take it over smooth, cause my heart belongs to you. I risk it all for you, I want you to leave. This time I never leave, I wanna share babies. Protection we don't need. Damn, man. Um, You know, like, like that lyric really hits me, you know, because like, you know, like, Abel said in his Starbucks interview with Zane Lowe, like, if he were to ever have kids, like, his his career, like, would, like, be totally different. Like, he said he wouldn't tour ever, you know, which I assume because, you know, he wants to be, you know, his kids and, you know, his family as much as possible. Like, the, the, the thing with it is, like, you know, some people might think that this is, like, corny or whatever because, I don't know, you know, this, this guy, I know him for, for his music, but, like, like, his music has impacted me in, in, a, in a way a lot of artists' music hasn't. And, you know, I just want him to be, like, to be happy. So, like, you know, you know, hearing songs like this, like, you know, you know, like, you know, I listened to, I listened to Trilogy. And I became a fan of Abel in 2015 um, for Beauty Behind the Madness. Um, and... You know, so going back to Trilogy, you know, Abel was in a very different mindset then. Um, so, you know, I listened to it still, it really emotionally impacting me, especially Thursday. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what, he's in a better place now. But, you know, hearing a new song like this from Abel that is so personal. And I'm not I'm not saying that his past projects, you know, My Dear, My Dear Melancholy was personal. There were songs on Star, but like, you know, like Die For You that were very, you know, personal for him. All the songs are personal, but, like, I'm talking, like, you know, he gets down into, like, you know, these, like, desires that he has. Because that's what Abel's music, you know, is partially about, you know, like, the desires of 
freedom and adrenaline and you know stuff that makes him feel you know whole and, com and complete and you know this song talks about that and it's just like you know i i've, I've been such like like you know a, a ride or die fan with abel for like for years now as you know and there's people that have much, many people who have been for even longer you know from the beginning and just you know hearing a new song from him like this you know really is emotional for, you know for me because it's like you know, I just, I just want this guy, you know, to, to be happy, you know? And, you know, it just, you know, I just, I, I want him to, you know, be fulfilled, you know? Okay, to continue, your body next to me is just a memory. I promise to be, oh, uh, without you, I'm asleep, I, 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 it's on me, only me, talk to me until you can breathe. Man, um, this is like, a, this is a really, like, complex song because you know to me like this whole song just from hearing it two times it's like it's like chronicling like kind of like grief you know in a way where you know it's like he's like he's kind of like he's angry but like it's more so he's angry at himself and he's longing for these you know like you know these feelings and these you know memories and you know ideas that you know he, he you know he's cherished on and you know maybe didn't you know realize how powerful they are to him until it's too late you know and then you know the beat comes in um my darkest hours fell apart from a lonely time in this quiet room don't didn't curve on the floor distract my thoughts from you i didn't intend to be the man i used to be to be but my self-esteem uh dress so i can get closer to you inside my dream again i'm not sure if these lyrics are exactly correct but I don't intend to be the man I used to be to be, you know, because like, again, that right there, because, you know, like, you know, another thing that I would talk about in his interview with, with Zane Lowe is that like, you know, he doesn't want to go back, you know, which obviously, you know, you know, why would he, why would he want to, but like, you know, go back to the, to those days making House of Balloons and Thursday and Echoes of Silence, because, you know, those were really, really dark times for him, obviously. And, you know, obviously I, I, I think when, um, he's saying I don't intend to be the man I used to be I don't think he's talking about about that but that time I think he's talking about like more recently and stuff um like the star boy to this era kind of part of his life I'm just assuming um but like you know hearing that again from Abel is like really powerful because it's like you know the trilogy for you know like Kissland and stuff you know like he always talks you know, about like you know how like you know he wants to you know change himself for the better you know but you know, because, like, you know, he's, like, he's, like, afraid to, 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 to go back to those, like, those demons, and, like, you know, and this, and this whole song is, you know, it kind of, like, you know, it starts off, it's basically, like, the coping of a nightmare, because, you know, he start he starts off by saying, thought I almost died in my dream again, fought for my life, I couldn't breathe again, you know, like, like, you know, like, he's, like, you know, like, you know, it's, like, when you're having, like, a nightmare or a dream, like, you're coping with, like, you know, the, the, the things that really stick with you, um, or, you know, like, creating new ways, uh, to cope with it, you know? You know, if you take the idea of, like, dreams again and nightmares, you know, until I was, like, you know, like, saying and stuff, you know, it's, like, this whole song is, like, a, like a post-nightmare thing, and, you know, now he's trying to make the nightmare become a dream, but, you know, he's still heartbroken about, you know, the fact that the situation's a nightmare, and you know, he's trying to make it a dream. Then I want to wake up, uh, I believe, I believe it's supposed to be without you, but it says with you beside me, I'm not sure. I, I just want to call you the same, the same, other than the chorus, uh, oh baby, where are you now when I need you most? I gave it all just to hold you close. Oh, I give it all just to hold you close. Sorry that I broke your heart, your heart. Um, man. You know, it's like, like this song, you know, it's about like, you know, re no regret and stuff. You know, you know, something on Equus of Silence that is really interesting is like, towards the end of that project, you know, well, that, I thought that whole project, you know, in, in a way, because, you know, it kind of, it starts off there, you know, a lot with, like, the idea of, like, you know, is Abel going to regret what he's doing with, you know, is this girl at the time? But, you know, he's like, you know, I don't know, you're just going to end up back with me, or I'm going to end up back with you, like, you know, until dawn. You know, he talks about that a lot. Th this is, like, if The weekend made to nowadays, like, next, or the title track of the Silence, or, you know, Till Dawn in a way. You know, really getting into, like, themes of, like, you know, re regret and, you know, longing for the those times where he felt you know, whole and, you know, safe and with someone that he really connected with and, you know, loved. Okay, one well, quick random note I will say, though. 
even though it's like similar to like those last two songs and that goes of silence and like you know oh this person you know made me feel happy you know obviously there's a big difference you know on on echoes of silence you know that girl he was with was basically just using him i'm not i'm not trying to imply that this relationship is talking about they're they're trying to use each other i just i just, I just want to make sure that i'm i'm clear on that because like in the video the way i say it is like oh so this relationship basically they're using each other i just i just don't want any like misconceptions because like the echoes of silence is like that story about like longing and stuff is different than like what this is about never come and go I was running away from base of reality, wasting all my time by living my fantasies, spending money to compensate to compensate because I want you, baby. I'd be living in heaven when I'm inside of you. Can't resent I'm blessed and beside beside of you. Um, and then something again and again. Again, I'm sorry. These lyrics, um, they're still transcribing them. And then you know the chorus again. Oh baby, where are you now? And I need you most. I gave it all just to hold you close. Sorry to break your heart. You know the chorus again. Um, then it goes on to say, I said, baby, I treat you better than I did before. I hold you down when I let you go. Uh, this time I won't break your heart, your heart, then you know, the outro, um, I know it's all my fault, made you put down your guard, I know I made you fall, I said you were wrong for me, I lied to you, I lied to you, I lied to you, can deny the truth, I stayed of her in spite of you, you did some things, I do regret, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I don't know what these lyrics are, I could curse, still bright for you, cause this home is not a home, oh baby, where are you now, and I need you most. I gave it all just to hold you close. Sorry that I broke your heart, your heart. I said, baby, I treat you better than I did before. Hold you on, hold you on. Let you go this time. I want to break your heart, your heart. Like, man, I mean, th this whole song is, you know, it's, it's an emotional song. The, the track instrumentally reminds me of the, what I was saying. The, the second song you played on my Metamore episode seven, this song, this song called Sub-Zero by Ben clock i believe that's what i it, it reminds me of that it's a very like low-key kind of like nightclub-y very you know vibey song kind of techno inspired in a way the bass line on the song is very i love it it's very crunchy and like aggressive um i love i love the beat it's it's simple but but it works you know because you know if a song like this where you know you want it to you know kind of, you know, groove in a way. You don't want it to be, you know, too um, in your face because clearly the song is very mellow and, and sad. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sad, it's a sad song. Um, you know, it, it is like a real after hours, you know, type song because, you know, you know, we've, we've all been there. I mean, you know, staying late at night, thinking about things that, you know, keep us up. You know, I, I love this song. Like, I, I really do. This, I don't know. I, I, I would, I need to listen to it, to it more definitely. Um, but man, six minutes, uh, that, that's so dope. That's so dope because I, I love Abel when he makes long songs. He hasn't really made any long songs since Kissland, really. So, um, you know, I gotta say too, this really does remind me a lot of, um, Trilogy, but also it, it kind of has, you know, some, some Kissland type, uh, vibes to it. Um, but also, you know, it still feels new also because, you know, it, he hasn't, you know, like, you know, he's kind of, he hasn't really gone into like, like this have like techno-ish type, type direction. Um, or, you know, it, it's, it's very electronic, um, which is very cool. Uh, I'm, I, I'm interested in seeing how he does this one live. I, I I'm interested in, in hearing, in hearing this album. I mean, obviously I'm excited because it's the weekend, but like, I'm really interested in, in hearing the rest of these tracks because, all three of them, it's so different. And, you know, this is one of the more unique songs that, that Abel's made, where, you know, he's pushing himself to do something different. You know, it, you know, it, you know, the vocals and the vibe reminds me a little bit of, like, like I said at the very beginning when the, when I first heard the song at the beginning, I said, oh, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, the title track on Thursday. But, you know, then it goes into, like, some nightclub techno type, type stuff. And, you know, then, you know, the ending and the lyrics, man, like, dang, dude, you know, I'm just very interested in, in hearing how this album is because the vibe I'm getting from it is like Abel is really like getting into like himself. Like this in a way, um, you know, some people probably won't like this comparison, but this album from the lyrics of it really reminds me of like Kanye's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy where, like, he's really getting into, like, himself and, like, his desires and why certain things make him, like, you know, click or, you know, not, you know what I mean? 
All right, so thank you all for watching this. Um, again, thank you for the support on these weekend videos. It is very much appreciated because The Weeknd is a huge artist. There's tons of reactions from on YouTube and people coming to watch mine. Um, you know, I'm really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, after hours. Yeah, all right. I will see you all March 20th. It's...